You know, after the year we've had, it can be hard to remain positive going into 2021, but experts say getting in the right mindset can really have a drastic effect on how you feel in your daily life. So joining us live to talk more about how to remain positive in the new year is Barbie Haven with Desired Lives. Thanks so much for joining us, Barbie. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it has been a hard year for a lot of people to stay positive. Uh, so what are some of the, the biggest mistakes that people make when it when it comes to this? I think one of the biggest mistakes is allowing yourself to get sucked into like what you see on social media, mm -hmm. not realizing that you actually have control over what you see in your newsfeed. So your environment matters a lot in terms of setting yourself up for success just to begin with right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, no, we were talking about that on the show, uh, joy scrolling versus doom scrolling and, you know, that type of thing. Uh, so, so what do you mean when you talk about, you know, framing questions properly and how does that help? Um, your brain is going to answer the questions that you ask. So if you are stuck in that negativity of like, why do I feel this way? Or why can't I get out of this mindset? Why is this so hard? Your brain's going to come up with all the reasons why it's hard for you. Mm -hmm. So if you just flip the switch on that and ask yourself, how can I, how can I create a better experience? How can I be more positive today? Then you will find all the ways that you can be a little bit more positive. Okay, that sounds uh, like that makes sense, right? And so you talked about, you know, the environment as far as social media, but what about just setting your environment up in general uh, to keep it positive? Yeah, I think um, one of the things that I do in my home is I open up all the shades. I let as much light in as possible, even though it's, you know, we're in the Pacific Northwest and it's a little bit cloudy. Sometimes for me personally, I will turn all the lights on in the house if that's what helps me to have a more positive mood. Um, starting my day with my morning routine where I am doing some morning meditation or journaling or just feeling whatever I need to feel that day and setting an intention for the day mm -hmm. helps in your personal environment. And then just looking around and deciding is, is what I have around me bringing me joy? Mm -hmm. If it's not, is there something else I can do to help me have more joy? Yeah, that sounds very Marie Kondo, right? Isn't it all about, yeah. you know, having things that bring you joy around you? Yeah, and, and you mentioned uh, meditation. I mean, what kinds of tools uh, can help people? You mentioned journaling as well. Yeah, and I think that sometimes people get tripped up on the idea of journaling because they think it has to be some kind of, you know, big act. You're yeah. just writing. So you're writing on paper, writing on a notepad, any kind of writing that gets the thoughts out of your head and. Mm -hmm and into existence is going to be helpful. Um, there's lots of meditations. There's lots of free apps that you can use that also have, of course, upgrades. Um, but just breathing is meditating. Sitting quietly for five minutes even is a way for you to just be present with yourself first thing in the morning so that you can allow yourself to feel whatever th that it is that you need to feel. So there's a lot of tools in the market. Um, Calm app is one of my favorites. Um, each body on demand actually has a whole series now of meditations that are geared towards unstressing yourself and your life. Those are mm -hmm. 10 minutes long. There's no shortage of um, free or low cost tools available to people. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned Beachbody. I mean, the role that fitness plays, I, I always feel better if I work out in some way, even if it's just going on a walk, I feel like I, I have a better outlook on things. It, it makes you just feel better about yourself to move your body, it gets those endorphins going. And for a lot of people, it also leads to better choices throughout the day. Yeah. Oh, any other resources that you would recommend for people who are, you know, really looking to make a change? I would say um, community groups on Facebook mm -hmm. is a great place. If you're, if you find ones that are, you know, geared towards what you want to achieve, mm -hmm. that's a great place. Um, the on-demand tools, the, the apps, there's a lot of different apps out there. Hiring a coach, of course, if you want a little bit of extra support and accountability. Um, books. There's lots of different self-leadership books out there that will help you shift your mindset or just having an accountability buddy. Yeah. Asking a friend, are you into, you know, starting your day a little bit more positively? Can we do this together? And not just going it alone. The Lone Ranger's oftentimes don't make it. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Some some useful tips there. Thank you so much for joining us. Barbie Haven with Desired Lives and uh, have a good one. Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and for more information, of course, just go over to coin.com.